morning, everyone. It's been a while since we uh, got together for these morning devotional times, but I'm excited for all of you, Anthem, for your new school year, for everything that God has for you, and excited once again to gather together daily in the mornings to start our day off right, to start it off with Jesus, to start it off with prayer and being in His Word, and to uh, just prepare our hearts as we go out so that you guys can cr- can not just fulfill, but thrive in the uh, incredible mission that God has for you. You'll notice that the intro was the same as the old intro, but over the weeks to come, we're going to be uh, selecting some, some new clips to make a new intro and new music and, and all that. So it's just going to be kind of fun and changing, but I was just excited to get started again, and I uh, hope you are too. Remember, these devotionals will be five to ten minutes, and uh, just a chance for you to start your day off right, to get in the Word so we can pray together. And, uh, and also just get ready for what God has for us today. Amen? Sound good? Well, uh, you'll need your Bible, of course, and we're turning to Titus 3.1. That's Titus 3.1. Like, Titus, I don't have a Bible. Well, there it is. Um, remember, you can always go to BibleGateway.com, and you can read along. And uh, the structure for these devotionals is going to vary and be a little different than maybe they were uh, at the end of last school year. But, you know, we're just going to be having a good time and going from there. So anyway, this was the first one. It's kind of a long intro, but I'm excited to be back with you once again. So without further ado, turn in your Bible or on BibleGateway.com to Titus 3.1 and I'll be reading from the HCSB, the Holman Christian Standard Bible. Titus chapter 3 and verse 1. And I'll be reading a few verses from here, but starting verse 1. This is, uh, the title of this is Living, or Christian Living Among Outsiders. Remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to obey, to be ready for every good work, to slander no one, to avoid fighting, and to be kind, always showing gentleness to all people. For we too were once foolish, disobedient, deceived, enslaved by various passions and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, detesting one another. But when the goodness of God and his love for mankind appeared, he saved us, not by works of righteousness, that we had done, but according to his mercy, through the washing of regeneration and renewal by the Holy Spirit. It's a great section of scripture today, Titus 3 verses 1 through 5, but I really wanted to focus today on verse 1. It says, remind them to be submissive to rulers and authorities, to obey, to be ready for every good work, to slander no one, to avoid fighting, and to be kind, always showing gentleness to all people. Students, um, anyone else watching this, I want to remind you that today as you go out, that you have the opportunity with your teachers and the principals and your coaches and, and anyone that you're around um, to make their life miserable and make your life miserable or to to fit in, to go in, to do what's asked of you, to do what's expected of you, and not just to do it because it needs to be done, but to do it above and beyond even uh, their own um, level of expectation for you, that you guys can rise above in every challenge says to obey, to be ready for every good work, to slander no one, to avoid fighting. Guys, you know every day, even though school just started, there's always an opportunity to get into fights, to talk trash on someone, to, you know, see what could be done that's good and kind of like, I don't know. Um, we used to go visit uh, schools when we would visit our, our students in Texas. We would actually go around, and there was three lunch uh, sessions in between the lunch sessions and pick up the trash that the students would leave so that the people who were there didn't have to pick it up. Um, that's something you guys can do, man. If you see trash laying around, don't just say, man, the janitors can do it, the people can do it, just pick it up. Um, help out, you know, and, and it, sometimes you'll miss it and don't beat yourself up, but I'm just saying, like, look for acts, look for good works, look for things that you can do. Um, any good opportunity you have to show the love of Jesus on your campus and amongst your friends. And it says, um, and to be kind always, showing gentleness to all people. Guys, I would challenge you today, Monday, starting out right, the first full official week for school of Galt, and Lodi, you've been in for a little while, but just as you guys go in, to look for opportunities to show gentleness to all people. Amen. Lord, I thank you so much for this day, God, for these students and everyone else watching, God, that you are with them, that you are working in them, that you are moving in them, God, that you have great plans for them, good plans. Lord, I pray that you would help them today to obey their teachers and their parents and, and, and to do good works, to avoid fights, to avoid trash talking and quarrels, Lord, and just to know that they can show your kindness and your goodness to anyone they meet. We thank you for that ability, Lord, to function in you and to walk in you and in your love. 
God, we know that's not through our own power, it's not through our own works, but through your righteousness, through your goodness working in us. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You guys have an amazing day. Take your school by storm. Take it with the love of Jesus and uh, show everybody who it is, who's your daddy, who you worship, and uh, you know who it is that runs your life. But I'm excited to be back meeting with you guys on these mornings. And I'll see you back tomorrow. Hope you have an amazing day. God bless. Oh.